is not how you taste if it's hot or not. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Martin, this is Not Enough Tech. When it comes to portable soldering irons, you've got three options. Cheap and cheerful 8 watt USB soldering iron, the TS80, which is awesome. And, well, when it comes to portable soldering irons, you've got two options. The cheap and cheerful option and the TS80. Well, this is a video about the TS80, right? So let's crack on with it. And if you're interested in quality portable irons, then you're probably limited to TS100 and now TS80. And the TS80 I've got in my hand, so let's take a look at this and see if it's really, really good. First of all, a small disclaimer. Uh, the TS80 has been sent to me uh, thanks to Banggood. However, I did pick this model in particular because I was really curious. I've been using TS100 at the local hack space and I was really, really happy with it. So this is not a video which one is better really, but just to give you an impression what you could expect from TS80. The heating element of TS80 is located in the tip. And it's quick release so you can just pop out and pop back in the new tips, there are three tips, and you can use this uh, screw attachment to actually pop out a hot tip and exchange it. There's a standard 3.5 millimeter jack. Unfortunately, I don't have a compatible phone, so I won't be able to use it. The TS80 comes with a beautiful silicone lead, which is uh, actually resistant to heat, and it's so light that it will cause no drag. It's absolutely magnificent, this cable. I actually had TS100 users at the Hackspace telling me they very, very jealous uh, about this cable. The biggest difference for me between TS100 and TS80 is the way you power the soldering iron. The TS80 comes with USB Type-C connector. While this is not a USB Type-C PD uh, supporting up to, I, I believe, 100 watts of power delivery, uh, this is just a USB Type uh, 2.0 with a quick charge interface uh, 3.0. This means while you won't be able to power it from a lot of uh, USB sockets because it does require 9 volts to be able to transfer through uh, the soldering iron, uh, it is much easier to power it than the a TS100, which comes with a barrel jack and um, need for 12 volts or 24 volts power supply in order to work. So the 3.5 mil jack it can be used with when devices. I can actually um, connect it here and calibrate it to zero. It's absolutely zero right now. Great, it's cold. Obviously, it's not going to melt anything. So how does it work with the higher voltages? Well, let's test it out. Oh yeah. Melts, hey baby, it melts. The TS80 comes with loads of different settings, so just press the setting option. This is the right side, and you'll be able to toggle through settings. You can always restore them. Uh, this is a calibration menu, so when you long press the button, it will try to calibrate it. My tip is hot, so I won't be able to. Uh, do it. I don't know what sources, so if you can tell me that's great. Right and left hand and basically flips the screen 180. You have a settings to change the temperature and set the off voltage limit, so maximum voltage. There's a temperature step for increasing and decreasing, in this case 25 degrees at a time. Power settings between 16 and 24 watts of power and I can push through and there is a sleep setting time and basically after 90 seconds this device goes to 100 degrees uh, because that's what I've said. So when you leave it for 90 seconds it will start cooling it down, preserving your tip and once you lift it up you'll see that the temperature is rising again you'll be able to use it and that's the working temperature setting in here so by default you can set the temperature uh, that the soldering iron will uh, set itself to. These settings actually can be modified from a text file, so connect it to a computer, open the text config, and you'll be able to set them and default values straight away from that file. You can upload also your custom logo, just drop one bit a BMP file at the size of 96 by 16. So how quick is this soldering iron? Well, if I'm going to start heating up, you'll see that the temperature rises quite quick. It takes about 15 to 18 seconds to get to the desired 300 degrees, so you won't be waiting that long. And once it's set, obviously, the soldering iron is ready to go. So let's use that TS-80 to actually do some damage. Well, 
uh, let's fix something. And in this case, I've got a bit of jewelry. It's for my wife and I'm converting a necklace into a bracelet, so I need to add an extra hoop. Now, necklace acts as a heatsink, so it's quite difficult to actually stick the solder to it. However, the soldering iron is uh, capable of doing it. As you can see, yeah, it's a proper connection. And yeah, those are so tiny wrists of my wife. Now let's do something more practical and I have two wires to tin. Now this is a copper wire and I'm trying to tin them. As you can see this process goes rather smoothly. The solder is set to 350 degrees of Celsius and it only takes a couple of moments to heat up the copper and actually apply the solder and let the solder sink in between the strands of the wire. Working with this soldering iron is absolutely magnificent because it's small and light and you can see the tinning effect on this close-up shot in here. It's not the most beautiful tinning, but it's not the TS-80 fold. If you run TS-80 side by side with TS-100, you're probably going to notice some of the differences, like for example, the heating up timer, which probably takes about five or eight seconds less on the TS-100. But if you, however, don't have them side by side, if I'm honest, there is no difference between TS100 and this because both soldering irons perform exactly in the same way. With me having a special kind of warm feelings for TS80 because of the USB Type-C. Now, while that might seem like a disadvantage at first, considering how do you power a TS100 where most of the power supplies are kind of do-it-yourself over engineer solutions this is a very quick and reliable option to power this because it comes with its own adapter which is quick charge 3.0 compatible and if you have a already compatible power bank with quick charge 3.0 all you have to do is plug it and play it so TS80 probably aims at users more like me. I don't play with RC toys or drones, so I don't carry a portable LiPo a battery supply which is capable of 12 volts or 24 volts. But what I do carry is this box with regulated power supply a cable of 12 volts so I can easily connect this soldering iron and make it part of my uh, traveling setup. As you can imagine, the TS-80 is going to be part of my portable setup, which I'm really, really proud of. So if you're interested in any updates on the box or any other articles or videos, it's best to follow me on social media because I don't have a posting schedule. So if you do so, you'll get notified when the new content is out. And for now, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.